Hi everyone, this is a really quick tutorial on how to draw a species accumulation curve in Excel. Here we've got a dummy data set. You can see we've got species in the columns and sites in the rows. I've added a column where we're going to tally up the cumulative species richness. And I've also added a column here which helps us to remember that it's the number of samples that we are calculating the species richness over. So it's not the species richness for sample 1, for sample 2, for sample 3, but it is the number of species recorded in the first sample, then in the first two samples, then in the first three, and so on. We can see here that for site A, we only have four species. The rest of those are zeros. So that's easy to add in. Next, for site B, we also have four species, but one of those, species 5, wasn't previously recorded. Therefore, it's a new species, and our cumulative richness is now 5. For site C, you can see that we have three species, species 6, 7, and 8, that were not previously recorded. That means we add three species to our cumulative richness total. In site D, you can see that those eight species which we previously recorded are now joined by a ninth, which was not previously recorded. And similarly for site E, our nine species which were previously recorded are joined by this tenth species, which you can see was not recorded in any of the previous samples. In contrast, for site F, we see that there are only three species present, but all three of them have been previously recorded. Therefore, our cumulative species richness doesn't change. This then is the data we want to plot. I'm going to select it. I'm going to go to Insert, go to the Scatter Plots and choose scatter plots that are joined by a line. This is the graph we get. Hopefully you look at it and you see that this looks a bit strange. What's happened here? Well, it's inverted our two axes. Our number of samples is on the y-axis instead of on the x-axis. If you make this mistake, the simplest way to do this is simply to change these two, sorry, I'll we'll try that again, is simply to change these two windows around. So we're telling it that's the way it should be plotted. However, it's also worthwhile rather putting the number of samples as a column before the cumulative richness. What else do we need to do here? Well, we need to get rid of this heading we need to get rid of these guide lines. There we go. Click and pressing delete will get rid of them. We need to add labels. You can do that by going to chart design, add chart element, axis titles. We want one on the X. And you must realize that this should be number of samples, go back to chart design, add chart element, axis titles, y axis, this should obviously be cumulative species richness, and there we have our graph. If you want to add a zero point in, you could simply insert a row say after zero number of samples we have zero species click on your graph again extend the data series so it includes these zeros in the first row and there you have it you can now click on this graph press ctrl c to copy it and then it's ready to put into your report